Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the house on Blackberry Hill. We're in the garage doing some organizing today and we're going to install some of these Gladiator wall panels. Uh, the Gladiator system was one that we decided on. Even though it's a little bit more expensive than some of the others out there, it seemed like it was more durable, had a bit more options, and uh, was easier to install, which was a big thing for me. <laughs> so uh, we're going to walk through installing some of these panels, both the wall panels and the singular panels as well as go over some of the cabinets and other things that, um, that you can get along with your gladiators. All right, so today we're gonna install some of these gladiator panels. I actually installed this one a couple weekends ago. Um, it was really easy to do. So um, I wanted to show you though some of the different options. This is not the, the final setup for this thing, um, but there are a lot of different things. So you've got your cabinet, uh, which is a nice, you know, open two-door cabinet. Just got a, uh, a power cord thing from underneath, so if you wanted to put some chargers in there. You've got these great little baskets, um, lots of hooks for uh, garden tools, shovels. Um, you got your bucket hook, which also serves as, uh, you can wrap hoses, extension cords, stuff like that around here. Coat hanger hooks, which I'm using for fishing poles right now. They do actually sell a fishing pole setup. This single hook, um, single bike hook's pretty good. I don't know that I put a real big bike on it, but they do have a couple different bike systems. Works great for the kids' bikes. Um, this double J hook works good for the scooter, helmets. So you can see there's a lot of different things that you can do here. So one thing to consider with any of these um, organization systems are the weight limits. Um, Gladiator's weight limit, I think, was one of the higher ones that I saw but it is 50 pounds per square foot. So these wall panels, like these are actually six of the four foot long by one foot tall wall panels. So four foot by one, that's four square feet times 50, that's 200 pounds. So even though these are connected, I can't add them up together for, for everything. It is per section. So I can only put 200 pounds on any one section. So you do need to be careful of that, especially if you're trying to store heavier equipment up there. Um, and with these uh, um, storage bins here. So this actually hangs on one panel. It's not supported down here by the second panel. So th that really hits the, the weight limit here once you load this up with stuff. I think the base weight of this is about 30 pounds. Um, so something to think about, and they do sell them in, in bigger sizes. So you, you can get an eight foot wide by one foot. So that doubles the amount of uh, weight you can put on that particular panel. And then they sell the smaller tracks, which are um, six inches by four feet or even smaller. So you just need to do those calculations and make sure that you're not putting too much weight on these. So this is one of the four foot um, by six inch rails. And these don't have any kind of way to snap them together or put them to, to other pieces. And you could put them end to end, but um, end to end here but there's nothing down here below. But that's okay. Um, these have a lot of great applications. I actually bought a handful of these to put around the garage for different things. Um, the walls are great for doing the entire system. And you can see, even though there's no, um, there's no way to snap them side by side, you just butt them up end to end. Um, they do have this lock and channel here so that when you put them top to bottom, they actually lock together like that. So it looks like a nice piece and you can buy um, Gladiator cells end caps. So if you want to make it look fancy with a nice finished end cap and all that, you can do that as well. I haven't bothered to do that yet, but we did get a few end caps. So we'll see how they work out. They also do sell a um, hardware kit, which is really just a, a you know, two inch drywall screw, um, but they're color matched and um, they're what they recommend. So I guess if the system fails, you want to use whatever they recommend so that you could yell at them properly and say, our system failed and we did it by the book. Speaking of the book, I actually did read the instructions this time around, and you should too if you decide to install this system. There are different uh, instructions for if you're mounting to um, like a cement wall or, or something like that. But um, we've got drywall with the wood studs behind them, of course. Uh, you can also mount it to bare wood studs. So if you didn't have the drywall and you just had the bare studs here, you can mount them straight to that, no problem. The application is the same. They just say you need to find the studs and that's where you secure the screws. 
Um, and they say you want to end, start and end on a stud or as close to it as possible. All right, so let's start putting this thing up. I've already marked the stud locations here. Just used a magnetic stud finder, no big deal. Basically that just finds the nail in the stud and then you can level it out from there. So one thing that we do need to um, think about, and they, they mentioned this, uh, Gladiator mentions this in the instructions, is if you've got electrical in your garage, you really need to know where those electrical wires are so that you're not drilling into them with that screw. Um, you know, I don't have the schematics of the house. I'm not going to start cutting pilot holes in here to see where everything is, though I probably should. But common sense tells me that all the wires, because everything, um, all these plugs are in the, uh, in the same height along the wall. So most likely they're either dropped down from the attic or they're carried across um, right here behind the stud that these are, are uh, mounted between. So uh, reasonable to expect that I shouldn't drill anywhere directly above this or right on the, the same plane as this. Um, but you know, during the course of this video, I may be proven wrong and we'll get uh, a hilarious, uh, <laughs> fail video or something, right? Anyway, um, something to do actually be careful of. Now to mount these, take your screw. Like I said, I've got the, the handy dandy ones from uh, gladiator and they go actually in this tiny inset in this track here. So, um, just make sure. You want to know which way is up. I always look at the little stamp down here to make sure that's right side up before I mount it. And then the screw just goes in here and you just drive it straight through to the stud behind. So like I said, they, they want you to start and end at a stud or at least as close as possible. It's not always possible to do it that way. So um, what I'm actually going to do is measure because I got my first stud here. I'm gonna measure where I want from the wall and then um, take that and start a pilot hole here. Because unless you've got somebody holding this up in place for you, it's really hard to, to get this screw started and everything. So what I'll actually do is I'll, I'll start it here on the saw horses and then um, mount it up to the wall, sink one screw in, level it, sink the one on the other side. And once you've got with the walls, once you've got that one up, the rest is pretty easy to do. All right, so we got the first panel installed, which is good. And I'm actually gonna go two panels up, which is gonna make it easy. So what I'm gonna do is actually, um, well, we're doing two panels by three panels up. So I'm gonna put another panel next to this, and then that's gonna make it super easy to put the, the top few panels on, because they, they lock right in here. So you just lock them in, put them up, make sure you're drilling on the studs. Um, so again, you're, you got to put it there. Here's the stud at this wall. So I want to measure off I'm about nine and three quarter. So I want to come over here, make sure I got my right side up. I do. Come in, find my nine and three quarter, and um, start one of the screws here. It makes it a lot easier. All right. So now that we've got our two anchor panels on, so this is our bottom level. Um, we can go ahead and set the next ones up. And remember, they've got this little um, groove and tongue thing situation here. So this will just sit right on top of that. You don't have to worry about leveling it. You just need to worry about lining it up right there. That is a big thunder, isn't it? It really is. We're having quite the thunderstorm for February. End of February, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. All right, so that's lined up good. That's flush up against there. So really, I know. I, sh <laughs> I should have been ready, right? But, as I find where the set is, easy peasy.
and then just finish it out and continue along up the wall. All right, so we're done. Looks good, solid, everything's good. Now it's time to start putting the different pieces of the gear on the gear wall. Um, now Gladiator sells a bunch of different little kits. Uh, some of them are pre-put together. Some of them you have to put together yourself, um, like this cleanup caddy, which is just a paper towel holder with a shelf up above it. So we did get one of those. You can see that the pieces, they give you pretty good instructions, everything that you need for it. Um, and they're, they're all pretty easy to put together. You know, everything fits nicely. Um, yeah. If I had a workbench already, right? But anyway, everything fits together nicely. They take usually a few minutes to put together. The bigger cabinets take some more time. We'll put one of those together here in a minute. Um, I'll show you how that goes. But there's a lot of stuff that's already put together for you. Um, so you have these wire shelves. And the great thing is it just snaps in. So you just slip it in, boom, boom. Now you have a wire shelf. And you can, you know, and, and the great thing is they're not permanent. You can put these wherever you want. Um, so you can put these anywhere you want. They sell a real nice solid shelf. They sell other shelves that have uh, longer brackets that can hold more weight on the actual shelf. Um, the cabinets, like we've said, and just a multitude of different hooks, uh, baskets, which I thought were great, um, and a, a boot rack holder, um, or a boot holder, a boot rack. I forget what they call it. But it holds your boots up off the ground so that when you're coming in from chorn or whatever you're doing and you're all dirty, you can put your, put your boots on the rack and um, you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna put together this shelf. Um, so earlier I talked about weight limits. Uh, this shelf actually has its own weight limit of 150 pounds total and then it has a per shelf weight limit of 40 pounds. So again, if you're gonna be storing heavy stuff, just make sure you check all that. All the information is usually online. Um, and we'll put links below to all this stuff. Um, I mean, the other great thing about Gladiator was you could find it anywhere. You can find it at Lowe's, Amazon, Gladiator's got its own website, Home Depot. Um, I think even the, the local mom and pop um, shops will have it too, so pretty good stuff. Anyway, let's put this thing together and uh, see how bad it is. All right, so I found that it's easier to lay everything out um, and figure out what you're working with. With these shelves, um, they're pretty basic. The, the one I put together actually didn't have the paper instructions inside, but they do have all the parts numbered with a little diagram so you can kind of figure out what you're supposed to do. Um, and I was able to figure it out so anybody else can too. The only trick that you need to know is that on these sides of the shelves, you see the little slots here? You got to make sure that there's there's tabs here on the tops and bottoms and on in, uh, and on each of the interior shelves. You just need to make sure that they are inside when you're putting them together. So it just kind of holds them a little more secure. All right, so uh, once you get the shelves and the doors, there's a back that goes on, pretty easy, slides in, and then here's your mounting bracket, and this is what actually sits on the uh, gear wall itself, on the rail, and then you're done. So let's mount this thing and, and be done with it. There it is, nice and secure. <laughs> or not. Hold on, let me move some of this stuff. There we go, nice and secure, in place. And this actually slides pretty easy along the gear wall itself. Um, I think I've got it, I could probably mount it one higher. What do you think, Kay? Um, I think that's probably high enough, otherwise I won't be able to reach it. Okay, yep. and see, so you've got your basket underneath, you can put hooks underneath, whatever you want. It opens up pretty well. Good deal, and we've got the plug here and a hole right here for the cord so we can put chargers in here. Um, all right guys, that wraps it up for the gear wall install and review. 
Um, hope you found it useful and informative. We're gonna put links below to all these products. Like I said, you can find them all sorts of different places, Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, um, gladiator.com and all that. Um, they, they've got them all over the place. And unfortunately, you'll find that, that different stores carry different versions of it. So if you think there's something out there that you want, um, as far as organization goes, and you don't see it at like Lowe's, check on Home Depot, check on the Gladiator website. Um, I had to actually purchase from a couple different places to get all the different uh, little pieces and parts that I wanted. Um, so remember to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if this was helpful to you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.